last night. It rained out at the Red Cedar Speedway. I tried to go fishing, and the batteries were dead. So, a bunch of idiots we are. We went home and put the batteries on the charger, only to find out that the trolling motor was off. So, whoops, I guess next time, for all you fishermen out there, make sure to check your trolling motor before you go fishing and make sure it's on. So we're headed out this morning, we're gonna go do some bass fishing, and the plan is to head over to the Race Lake Speedway, and Race Lake Wisconsin, and, and do some racing. Hopefully we're doing better this morning than we were last night. Take care and we'll see you later. A small little lake close to home. Probably about 10 minutes from home. Should be a good day. Stay tuned. The hook point's already Owen got one, so I decided I should probably get one. Not catching big ones, but catching enough to keep us busy. How's it going for you? Got a couple. It's pretty windy out here today. Hopefully it turns into a dry track for the night. Headed. We are headed to the Race Lake Speedway. Last night we rained out Menominee. Yeah, it's no fun when you rain out because then you have to go to dinner and, and you know all that fun stuff. Spend some money on the girlfriend. That didn't happen. That didn't happen. We went fishing instead. Didn't go very well. But hoping that Race Lake Speedway is not uh, rough as you can see in the fields there's a lot of rain uh, rain pretty much well it started on wednesday and it didn't stop until yesterday so actually friday afternoon so just hoping it's not gonna be rougher than a cornfield but uh i guess we're going racing so whether it's rough or it's smooth i guess we're going racing that's all we can be happy about so I am putting tear-offs, we're getting the helmet ready, um, putting tear-offs on as we speak to get ready. We're not sure if we're hot lapping or not today, so we just have to play it by ear. But in the meantime, again, we're kind of getting re everything ready, everything out, uh, helmets ready, stuff like that. Um, I do want to take a minute because I... I'm missing these really special people's day today. Um, my friend Marty and his new wife Stacy. They're both great friends of mine, people that I really, uh, really appreciate, really love to death. And I'm missing their day today. Normally we race at Cedar Lake and I'd be able to go to the reception and miss just the heat races and be able to make it back in time for features. However, since we're making these videos for everyone, and hopefully you're enjoying them, um, I felt it necessary to come with today to continue to tape. And um, that leaves me for about an hour and 45 minutes away from their reception, meaning I'm not gonna be able to attend. So Stacy and Marty, congratulations. Wishing you many years of wedded bliss, health, and happiness together. And I'm sorry I'm missing your day. But hopefully you'll forgive me. How are you feeling? Tired. Oh no, they put so much money. Yeah, we went fishing this morning. Hmm. Because really that nice. guy over there. He wanted to get up at the butt crack of dawn and go oh, fishing. Oh, I like see. It's like spending an extra 20 or $30 per tire to get somebody to siphon for you. We're going <laughs> to be busy this week. You can buy me a tire, tire siper or whatever the hell they are. Six grand. <laughs> I didn't say it, I said, do you think?
What are you doing? Checking to see how much moisture is in the track. It's it pretty... looks, looks dry on top, but it's really not. Are we going through? How far is that? You really got to push, though. Yeah, well, that's moisture. Yeah. Find a rock. Oh yeah, that went right through. I just have to watch it because I me mean, it looks like you can tell they these dents right here is a sheep sheep's foot. They do that to harden the track. I mean they did a pretty good job with how much rain they got here. Yeah, they said three inches of rain, so it doesn't look like it. Guess we'll just have to find out and see.
avoid them tires on the <laughs> bottom, you're catching the candidate very a lot. But I when know. you on the bottom there, like the I get bleep it out. Who cares? Bleep! <laughs> I know. Because <laughs> at the end I would hit my mark. And, and you're catching her. But they're in the middle of the race, they were catching you. I am sure they were. They were. I'm like yeah, I hit that tractor tire. Tractor tire. I thought he broke something first. Mm. Nope, everything's straight. <clears throat> it's a matter of time.
Race Life Speedway. Um, started sixth in our heat, got second. Redrew number four for the Rock Qualifier, which is the Race of Champions for the Wasoda Auto Racing Association. Um, started fourth, led every lap. Finally picked up win number one. Um, didn't really get to do any interview stuff last night, so um, special shout out to all my sponsors. Willow River Saloon, Dirt Race Central, GRP Motorsports, FYE Motorsports, Casey Farms, Jiggy Signs, Dolman Auto Body, CMD Race Shocks, Concrete Concepts and Construction, Photos by Fizzle, Kurt Patrick Law Office, Auto Value, Tyler's Custom Service Prep, MB Services, and Fast Factory. Uh, also, I forgot one other one, FYE.TV, or watch FYE.TV. Um, and thanks to all the fans. I keep watching this each and every week. I know we're small, but one day we'll get a little bit bigger here. Um, hope you guys had fun watching. Our plans for this upcoming week will be at the Ghanic Law Speedway up in Superior on Thursday and Friday. And then on Saturday and Sunday, we'll be over at the Ogilvy Raceway, Ogilvy, Minnesota for their double header as well. So lots of racing going on. Um, um, please comment, like, subscribe, and also remember to always share um, by you guys subscribing and, and sharing this in hopes that you know we'll get bigger and, and we'll have more of a following and, and we can do bigger and better things. Um, most important thing of the weekend was finally got that. So it was a big confidence booster for everyone including myself um we've been oh so close numerous times this year so um also a special shout out to my my mom and dad my girlfriend amber scott and ginger and tony Barr. This wouldn't be possible without you also brandon and owen thank you so much for all the dedication and hard work you guys put in each and every week um, this was a special one. It, this one came at Race Lake Speedway um, a couple years ago. My girlfriend's family and a couple sponsors of mine. Lost a great guy. So that one was for Freddy. Freddy was definitely watching above last night. So, um, like I said, stay tuned and we'll have another video out. Thank you.